So that is obviously the 300D by Aperture, which is now lighting this side of my face. And I know that was like the most cliche youtube way to start a video about a light, but whatever. This video is basically my first day with the Aperture 300D. I first do an unboxing, then I talk about some of the technical specifications, and then lastly I do sort of an homage to my different lighting setups that have gotten me to this point where I'm at today. As with all my videos, I will put the timestamps in the description so you can just feel free to jump around and watch whatever part you want to watch. Now, here is the unboxing. You know what this kind of reminds me of? It, it, it kind of, it's like a cooler that you'd bring to the beach. Um, still, still very heavy, a lot heavier than I thought it was going to be. Uh, looks like got like an extra strap there. A little leather on the handle. Nice touch. Whew. So, this is the light itself. Not quite as heavy as I thought it was going to be, considering how heavy this whole package is. But, uh, it feels, feels good. Smells good. It actually did smell pretty good. With this boxing, like you really definitely don't need like anything else. Like this is, this is really, really sturdy case. So I'm, I'm really impressed with that. And here is the, uh, the main, the main unit. This is solidly heavy, I guess. Um, but it, it definitely feels, feels really solid. And then I guess this is like the, uh, the fan. Also pretty heavy. I think this is like probably the second heaviest thing in here. I don't know why I keep talking about how heavy everything is. Um, I guess I was just like so surprised at how heavy this whole setup is. Um, but being heavy really doesn't have anything to do with being a good light. Some instructions, some stickers. I'm not sure what this piece is. And lastly, the other big reason why I wanted to switch to the Aperture system is because of this. This is a wireless remote control. And hopefully as I expand my light kit, I'll be able to use this one remote and be able to control all my lights, which I think is just like a huge benefit to having all your lights being of the same brand, which hopefully will be Aperture. So this is the light. I have already set it up and tested it. The first thing that I did when I turned it on was actually tilted it up at the ceiling and just kind of let it run for five minutes or so. I know there was some reports with the old 300Ds turning off when the light was fixed in this position, but you know, I ran it for like, you know, between five and 10 minutes and uh, it stayed on and uh, looked great. So no complaints there. The next thing I did was when I turned it on, I just wanted to make sure that the light didn't have like a green tint around the edges, which I know was like another big issue with the old batch of 300Ds. Apparently there was like this green tint around the edges, but I looked pretty closely and I haven't looked at this footage yet. Yep, no green tint. This scroll wheel has probably like the least professional feel of the light in general, um, just because it's like plastic um, and it feels like it's gonna break honestly, but uh, whatever, it's still, it's still good. So anyway, so this is the light at 100%. Uh, it's definitely like lighting up this whole room, which is pretty naturally dark. The other reason why I purchased this light and wanted to just kind of switch to the aperture system altogether is because of the remote. I already set this remote up. It's, it's really easy to use. It just has like three different channels. So you can set the different aperture lights up on, I guess up to four different channels actually. And uh, it's, it's pretty easy to use. I'm using it right now. You just hold it down and dim it. Um, so this actually looks like really sweet. Um, this remote is just such a big upgrade for myself as someone who's just starting to get into YouTube and starting to just get into lights in general because 
you know, I operate as a one man crew 99% of the time, or I guess like actually a zero man crew, <laughs> um, like 99% of the time. So just being able to control the lights with the remote is just like such a game changer for me. The last thing I want to talk about is I know a ton of people out there were complaining about the noise of the fan and, um, you know, I got this and it is really not that noisy. Like I was expecting this thing to sound like a construction crew and I, know, and I saw people putting like soundproofing covers over it and stuff, but I mean, it, it, it's just not that noisy at all. They even throw in like this extra extender so that you can actually put this far away from the light as possible, but I don't even know if I'm gonna need it. It's, it's really not that noisy. I'll even, I'm gonna hold it up to the, uh, to my microphone right here. And so that's it. I mean, it, it sort of sounds like a computer. I mean, it, it's just not that noisy. Definitely not gonna be an issue for me at this point. So I've been making videos for about two years now, and in that two years, I have gone through so many different lighting setups. I started out with just using the fluorescent lights on the ceiling in my basement, to then picking up some cheap Viltrox lights, which I've basically been using on all my videos this year up until today, and including this one. But the more videos I shot, the more I started to watch videos and just learned more and more how to properly light, and even with those cheap Viltrox lights, I was able to continue to tweak the different setups and I just kept getting better and better results with those lights. And I decided that it was time to invest some real money into a light. So I actually first picked up a pair of Genere Spectro LED lights, which I used in this video. And I liked the results, it was decent, but there was definitely some issues and I ultimately decided to return those lights. And after doing some more research, I learned about this light from Aperture, the 300D. And it was a little more than I wanted to spend on a light, but I ultimately decided that instead of having three $400 lights or two $500 lights, which was the case with those Generate lights that I had purchased, I'd rather just take all that money and get one really, really awesome light for now, which I'll definitely be using as my key light for probably a very, very long time. Ultimately, I'm just looking at my lighting as something that has improved over time and definitely will continue to improve as my skills get better and better. So if you wanna see more videos of me using this light, consider subscribing because I'm pretty much gonna be using this light in every single video I put out from here on out. Also, consider following me on Instagram at Mike, the letter X Gorman, where I post a ton of behind the scenes, almost always showing my lighting setups, as well as just showing my day-to-day -day life.